This is the story of how an ordinary secondary school found itself in the path of the juggernaut of academisation and how the parents, pupils, teachers and other school staff stood together and saved the school they valued for future generations. I think one of the biggest things we've seen in the last few years of the academisation is that money leaves the classroom and goes straight up to the top. The school leadership and the governors do not own our schools. Exactly. They might act like they do, but they don't. The skills and organisation that the campaign attracted were never as important as when tackling issues such as the danger to special education needs provision. The first year it became an academy, became Fairham Academy, the, the number of kids on the SEN register halved, then it halved again. Could these two things be somehow related? We were out there on their pickets with them every time, we were obviously pressurising councillors, harassing MPs. <laughs> <laughs> I support parental ballot, I, I, and I've said that very clearly. It's on my website. I tweeted it umpteen times. I know we had a, a conversation about how I can, you know, how how can MPs communicate better? We could all do better. John Romer's this was like a patchwork quilt of a campaign. Since we stood up as parents and teachers and formed John Romer's Resists, we have achieved quite a bit. Over 1,300 people signed the petition against becoming an academy, and we forced them to delay any decision for six months. That was a crucial thing to do. And it was fun. We were enjoying being together. We were enjoying being in community. It's actually only 2016 when we were forced um, to take a number of strikes over a number of issues, but the one the most important one being to fight the academisation, the threat of academisation. And we won. And therefore I'm telling you, it can be done. I tell you, they are driving public voices out and they are bringing private voices in and those private voices have private motives and we have to resist them because they are not the interests of our children. The staff and the parents of this school are united in demanding a ballot, uh, but they are afraid to have a ballot because it would clearly go against them. So we need to try and figure out ways to support the schools, because it's like happy teacher, happy child, happy parents. It's a victory for all schools today. Wherever community schools are under threat, there will be parents, pupils and staff that want to stand up and save the schools they love and value. We could join together and we could actually be heard. And that's something that, that, is la that lasts your whole life long. Academisation. Nobody wants it. Get it out of our borough. We don't want it. John Roan resists.